Yeah, I will explain everything. We got a llama here, and we've got a goat here, and we've got humans as well, which is important. <laughs> Betsy, we can't just talk to the llama and the goat. You're from World Vision. Thanks so much for joining us here this morning. Thank you so much. I'm pumped to be here. I'm excited to explain exactly what World Vision is and what you do, but we first have to meet these animals. Absolutely. Okay, so Elisa, can you introduce us to Fudge the Llama? Yes, this is Fudge the Llama. She is named Fudge because she looks like a hot fudge sundae. <laughs> <laughs> and she is probably, I don't know, 17, 18 years old, maybe pushing 20, not quite sure. And she's gorgeous and so well behaved too, but what the heck is going on with her teeth there? They're just teeth. As they get older, they grow longer and they tend to push farther outwards. Some Invisalign for that. Something, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, she's gorgeous and we're going to be walking around with her in a second, but we also here have Snot. You're not, this is Mark, by the yeah. way. This is Snot, right? Yes, yeah, so when she was born, she had a little black thing on her nose, so I named her Snot. Oh, that's so sweet. And how old is Snot? She's about 20 years old. That's how long do goats normally live for? Almost 20 to 30 years. Oh, so she's a, a senior citizen in there. Yeah, she yeah, AARP. Yeah, yeah. She's totally qualifying yeah. for that. And goats, I mean, they're great animals and they give so much to families that need okay. them. Yes, milk is most important, yeah. For sure. Okay, so Betsy, we've set this up now. Right. We've got a llama, we got a goat. What the heck is going on? What is World Vision and how do these animals help? Absolutely. So World Vision is a global humanitarian organization and we're talking about giving meaningful gifts this Christmas. So it's, it's easy to just go buy somebody another sweater, but this year, if you buy someone a goat or a llama, it's going to change their lives forever. So how it works is you purchase a goat or a llama on behalf of a friend or family member Member, then that goat or llama is going to be given to a family in desperate need and these animals are enough to lift a family out of poverty. Well, I mean that's incredible to think of that just one animal can do it. For the record though, if you're trying to buy a goat for your nephew, they just know that your nephew's not getting a goat. It's they going somewhere else. They shouldn't wait at the door for a goat. <laughs> it's going to a family on the other side of the world. Talk to us about how it can bring a family out of poverty. That seems sh surprising, shocking almost. Absolutely. So in the case of a goat, for $85 you're purchasing a goat on behalf of your friend or family member and this goat produces about 16 cups of milk a day which is more than a family would need so they can sell the uh, sell the milk make cheese to sell um, also offspring to sell um, the goats live about 15 to 20 years so that's just many years of um, of income for that family and obviously the llama gives fur and other things right? wool yeah wool, wool, is, wool is valuable a valuable resource so it's enough to lift a family completely out of poverty just with one animal and today on giving Tuesday um, all every gift is matched by a donation from 31 gifts so your your impact is doubled today if you if you um, purchase we've just gone through Black Friday we've gone through Cyber Monday I right. think this is a great way to get for Giving Tuesday yeah. for giving people giving back to other people so how can people get more information they can go to worldvision.org and yes I completely agree it's a way that you know there's so much polarization in our world today this is one way we can all come together all right so we're gonna all come together and we're all gonna go for a walk right exactly. you guys have assured me that the animals can walk fine we'll make yes. some friends. we're gonna make some friends we're gonna go downtown with a llama and a goat and see what happens guys, guys I am so so excited not only about the weather today because it's going to be really nice which we'll have the details in a second but we started making some project pro uh progress we got fudge here fudge is giving me a little bit of a look she's okay she's okay she's not going to spit at me no no she's anticipating the good weather <laughs> she's anticipating the good weather yeah. fudge is excited about the weather today and we're making progress here with snot we're moving along just fine we're mark making our way into downtown we're going to cross over the kennedy here in just a second look at that wise old beard by the way very smart i need to try and grow that here up here just need to work on it a little bit longer okay so betsy yes. nice weather forecast for today so you're gonna help me out with it right? right i'm ready all right so what do we got for today we've got 58 degrees is our high it's wow. gonna be sunny this morning around noon we got might get some clouds rolling in potential for a little bit of rain that's it. Do you want to be a weather person? I mean, you don't steal my job, seriously. I, I'm, tr I'm I holding like on to it. I do for World Vision, otherwise. <laughs> And then that's my backup. Tomorrow a little chillier though, right? Yes, tomorrow we're looking at around 48 degrees. Yeah. Still sunny, but a yeah. little chillier. We'll take that. So I got Valerie and Rod here this morning. You guys are just walking on by. What'd you think when you saw this? Super weird. <laughs> you ever seen something this strange this morning? No, no, not yeah. at all. You ever seen a llama before at all? Yes, of course. Okay, you want to pet it? You want to pet Fudge? No? <laughs> oh, that's a hard pass. You're going to let Fudge just be right there. Fudge good. <laughs> All right, Roddy, you ever seen something like this? You work for CTA when you're on your way to work? You ever seen something like this this morning? No, man, I just think that was awesome. 
<laughs> Can I use a venture to get uh, to get fudge on the on the train? I don't think so, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. So you never see, you ever touched the llama before? No. But you want to touch fudge? Not today. <laughs> <laughs> no one will touch fudge. It's soft. It's amazing. Right there, what are they just doing right there? They were like, "Whoop, llama, llama down." He's taking a break. Just chill. Out. <laughs> All right, you know what? Actually, let's get down. I, I kind of feel the same way. It's early in the morning. Just no need to stand on up. We can just sit on back here. You also got like chickens and other stuff too, right? Yeah, there's chickens, there's gu there's ducks, there's hygiene relief kits, and you can also fund a well up to $50,000. So there's any price point for a gift. That is absolutely incredible. By the way, guys, while I'm lounging out here, I'll go ahead and give you the weather forecast because it's going to be a really nice day. You can lay out on the sidewalk too. We'll get up to 58 degrees. It'll be mainly, mainly clear to start the day and then cloudy as we get around noon and then we might have some rain as well. Tomorrow we are a little bit cooler. Temperatures right around 46 degrees. We feel so popular on the streets. People are taking pictures. We've had uh, selfies with the llamas so far this morning. Fudge the llama and of course we have snot the goat and they're becoming very urban betsy so urban we went ahead and got them uh, coffee caffeine. from starbucks so fudge and snot from starbucks they went ahead and got it all right ellie you just kind of saw these uh, this year you ever seen a llama on the streets at uh, seven in the morning nope not at all <laughs> <laughs> but we got a really nice forecast for today we got to get to the weather for today so what's the high temperature going to be today it's going to be 58 and sunny 58 and sunny maybe a little rain a little bit in the afternoon and some cloud cover i okay. got my llama girl i also got my goat here i got fudge and i got snot and they're excited for today because things are pretty warm actually we got temperatures already in the 50s across most of the area maybe the upper 40s if you're in the northwest suburbs but it's a good sign of things to come for today we're going to be up at 58 degrees fudge loves 58 a, a fudge sunday would melt but uh, fudge will be very comfortable uh today <laughs> what what just happened sneeze oh it was just a sneeze just a sneeze okay all right just a sneeze from uh, llama all right jonathan you walked up what was your reaction when you saw what was going on here um you know formal shock <laughs> Uh, not something you necessarily want to feel on the first day, any yeah. animals. Yeah, exactly. Kelly, what'd you think? Uh, I heard about it from some co-workers, so I had to come down and uh, see for myself. Wait, there's a buzz? <laughs> right. There's there a is. buzz about the llama and the there, goat? There is. There's, uh, first thing I heard this morning when I came into the office was there's a llama and a goat downstairs <laughs> out of the corner. So, so you have to check it out. I'm glad there's a buzz, Betsy, because, oh my gosh, the llama just did something crazy. What was that? <laughs> just kind of stood up. It just stood up. Okay, so that wasn't crazy. Not really. Okay. Alicia, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get on the bus. I don't know, I got my venture card. I don't know if they're gonna let me on. I'm gonna try and see if we can get on the bus. I don't know, they might reject it. Any chance I can get on the bus today? No? I can't get on the bus with an animal, I'm sorry. Yeah, this goat, I mean, $85, you're able to buy it for a family in need. And what exactly do they get out of it? Yeah, so a goat is an incredible animal. We see them at petting zoos, but they will change a life on the other side of the world. They produce about 16 cups of milk a day, which is more than most families need. So they're able- 16 cups? Way to go, snot. Cups. They're able to then produce cheese and sell the milk, yogurt, cheese. They're, they also produce about two offspring a year. So they the family can then sell the offspring of the goat and goats also produce great fertilizer. That's awesome. So, yeah, we've been seeing the fertilizer <laughs> on the street all morning long. Don't worry, we've been picking it up, city of Chicago.